If you're not trading meme coins on Solana, you will miss massive gains in this bull market. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to go from complete beginner to buying your first Solana meme coins. So forget about complicated DEX tutorials. I'll show you the fastest way to do it and then you'll have no excuse on missing the next 100x. Firstly, type into Google DEX screener and then come to this site, dexscreener.com. Click on the site. This is your catalog of all meme coins on all of the different blockchains. And here, when you're on the homepage, simply come to the right here, click on filters, all platforms, and then click on Solana and click save. Now you can see, click apply there, you can see all of the Solana meme coins. If you click on volume here at the top, you can first of all see all of the 24 hour volume in Solana meme coins, three over $3 billion traded. So this is where a lot of the attention and focus is right now in crypto. Now, if we sort by volume, if you click on this volume button, you can see where the most volume is going in, which coins. And if you click here on Pippin, you can see that this is a brand new trending coin. And the reason we trade Solana meme coins is simply this. This coin was launched barely a couple of days ago, barely, like a day and a half, two days ago. And if you scroll down, click on top traders, you'll see how much profits people have made so far. So people have literally turned hundreds of dollars into hundreds of thousands of dollars. You can see they're bought on the left in the red and sold on the right. That's why we trade Solana meme coins. So here on deck screener, you can actually trade directly these meme coins. So if you scroll down here, you can see there's an option. You'll see a buy and a sell button. So if you click on buy here, you can actually connect your wallet here directly. Now, sometimes you might see another link here like Orca, for example. And that's a, another place where you can actually buy these meme coins. Now, I don't recommend doing any of these options, actually. So we're going to just reverse a couple of steps. Before you can trade Solana meme coins, ideally, you need a phantom wallet. This is a crypto wallet. So back onto Google, you want to type in phantom wallet. And you can see here, top link, phantom.app. So from here, you can actually download the wallet. And you can see here for desktop, you can download for Chrome. So it will be like a Chrome extension. And then all you do is you add it to your pinned extensions and you're good to go. And you can see here, this is exactly how it looks. And you can easily fund this from a centralized exchange, for example, Coinbase or Binance. So all you have to do is send Solana to your wallet and you're ready to go. If you look here in the top right, you'll see a button here that says Radium. This is where the majority of the liquidity pools are for the uh, main Solana meme coins. This is where the largest pools are. Now in the top right, if you ever want to copy the contract address and take it to some other platform, you see here on the top right, next to uh, where it says the name Pippin, you can see a copy sign here. So if you click on that, it copies the contract address to your clipboard. And most of the ones you should be trading are pump.fun coins. So usually at the end of the contract address, you'll see P-U-M-P. I recommend using a platform like Bullex. So I've just searched for that exact contract address and then it pops up here. And actually I can buy it directly here. Now, if you want to join Bullex, it's free to use this platform. You'll see the link in the description below. When you're connecting, the web app actually connects uh, through the Telegram bot for Bullex. So the homepage usually looks like this. You'll see a list of new pairs. And on the left-hand side here, you've got Pump Vision, which are brand new coins being launched on Pump.Fun in three separate categories here. To fund the wallet, it's very easy. Just scroll down to the left and you'll see here a button that says Wallet Manager. Click on Wallet Manager, and then you can actually add funds there. It will give you your exact wallet address and you just send Solana directly to it. Now, always, I would say when you first start, test with small amounts like 0.1 or 0.05, only send small amounts of Solana first. Once you've done that and you have the Solana ready, on the right-hand side here, that's the buy and sell dashboard. Now, the reason we use this is a lot of the time, these tools are a lot faster in terms of transactions. You can ensure your transaction always goes through by adding bribery fees, slippage, etc. And also, you can set automatic take profit targets, stop loss targets. Like this is advanced meme coin trading, which is what you need to become familiar with. So first of all, when you use something like Bullex, it's going to feel very unfamiliar and difficult, but you'll get used to it. And the sooner you get used to it, the better, because if you're going to trade Solana meme coins this cycle, you need to learn some of the hard things as early as possible. So here, basically, if, you wanna, if I wanted to buy one soul, I can either click on the button, or I can type in a one or two soul, for example. And then if you scroll down, you can see a buy button. So you can click on the buy button, but before you do that, Go on this little kind of alien sign here on the right and change your settings. So you have many different options here. So you've got priority fees, slippage limits, MEV protection, bribe. 
I'm not going to go into this in too much with that, but basically for most meme coins, older ones, um, that are not like launched within the last hour or anything like that. So you don't need a lot of slippage. So for those, one or two percent slippage is plenty and priority fee can be anywhere, for, usually 0 0.01 is the default and bribery fee can be 0 0.01 with MEV protection enabled. Again, I'm not going to go into this too much, but it's to stop people front running uh, your trades. So in a nutshell, if, if, I, if I was buying somewhere like let's say 25 million, but I had a really high slippage, which means that I'm willing to accept a price, let's say up to 28 million. Other people might see my trade publicly and what they might do is buy in front of me and then sell at the 28. So long story short, they're just a middleman making money on that little exchange there. So if we enable MEV protection, that's much less likely to happen. And it's much less likely we keep overpaying when we uh, take trades. So especially if you're a complete beginner, I'd recommend just keep it enabled to be safe. Keep slippage on the low side for these coins that are in the millions of market cap and set priority fee to 0 0.01. Bribery can set to 0 0.01. If you find your transactions not going through, you can increase these slightly. In the top right hand corner, uh, Bullex will even give you a guide on roughly what your figures should be here. So you can see here a bribe figure here, the first one. And then the second one is the uh, priority as well. So you can see here rough, rough idea. So next, where do you find coins? If you're a complete brand new beginner, then I don't think you should go anywhere near Pump Vision and these brand brand new launches because there are a lot of scams and rugs and you need to know how to spot them. For sake of example, let me just click on one of these new ones. Like if I click on one of these, like this one, you need to know um, uh, how to spot scams here. So we would go into a one second chart here and there's a lot of extra steps we need to take for these brand new ones. You need to start analyzing holders, see if there's any uh, bundling going on. Obviously you need to check socials and you need to do everything very, very fast. So we don't want to do that as a complete beginner. Better back onto deck screener and have a look at the overall market to see what's trending and where the volume's going at the moment and start preparing a watch list and look for dip buying opportunities in the better coins. So you can get a very large cap coins. Large cap just means it has a large market cap. So this is over a hundred million. So this is the uh, total market capitalization of the entire meme coin. So somewhere at hundred billion and then you'll find some much smaller. Now in these larger ones, you can look for dip buying opportunities. So every time as the price goes up, you look at uh, one of these lows to buy in. But the problem with the larger cap ones is if they go from 100 to 150 million, so they go up 50 million, you're making 50%, which is a lot. It is a decent amount. But when you're risking a lot with meme coins, you don't want to be aiming for 50% gains. You ideally minimum want to be going for two X's and three X's and best case five to 10 X or more. So really the market cap you want is lower. Now, again, we can filter this. If you click on filters here, you can filter 500,000 to let's say uh, anywhere up to 7 million market cap and then I can click apply and then it will do that automatically and again I can just um, see which ones picking up the uh, volume now some of these top ones will still be scams as well so you always have to watch out for that but basically what you're doing with these is you're opening them up like iris was one I think this is one I was trading before so this is a newer meme coin and this one's doing pretty well at the moment so again this just launched but at least it's been around for a couple of hours and again, you're just looking for dip buying opportunities with this and ideally using Bullex. Now with this one, let's say if it dipped all the way to 1 million with Bullex, I can actually set an automatic buy for 1 million as well. Again, that's too complicated if you're a beginner. For as a beginner, you're just trying to look at live uh, charts and trading as you're in a position. So slowly we would actually look through all of these with slight preference on, as I said, the newer coins because those are the ones where you could make more multiples, they have more momentum, but not the ones that are literally just launched minutes ago, because those will be too risky if you're a complete beginner. Also at the beginning, you don't need to use any advanced technical analysis. Just keep it very simple and basic. Look at that uptrend from launch. So price going up in a ladder format. So it's going up, bigger pullback, still was going up and then stopped. This now technically, this whole area is what's called a downtrend, downstairs. So this is automatically more risky, less likelihood of gains, but sometimes you can get breakouts. So you can get breakouts are key 
uh, zones. For example, we had a bounce here at 5 million. It was a weak bounce, so it's probably not going to make it. But the other common areas for bouncing are 3 million and 1 million. So you still might get a bit of a bounce, but it's come down a lot from nearly 20 million. So the chances of this turning around and running to, let's say, 100 million are getting less and less likely. So you want to catch it in the early stages. And that's why something like this, this could still be in an early stage of uptrend. Not guaranteed, it could fail from here. It's meme coins, you don't know anything for 100%, but it may still be in a little bit of an uptrend. And that's what you're trading basically. You're trading one of these dips, letting it run. Some will run 2x, some will run much, much more. And then you're taking profits, automatic profits. So I'm actually on uh, Bullex now with this particular one. And what we see is the dev bot at the beginning, but has not sold yet. So if you look further down, you want to check holders and you'll see that the dev has 5% of holding, which is quite high. So if the dev does suddenly sell, you will see a bit of a dump. So it's a bit of a, a risk always with this. And then if you have a look further down, I just want to have a look if there's a lot of wallets holding similar amounts. So if there's any kind of evidence of bundling, um, there's a couple of insider wallets. You can see they're marked by the rat sign there. So these are, are wallets that have had some tokens sent to them. So again, just something you have to be aware of because that all might add up. It could be just one person that could add up to about five or ten percent itself. So I've got a couple of concerns here, but otherwise nothing crazy. And obviously you want to review the socials, check if it's something new, unique. For example, AI, AI memes, AI artwork. This is all trending at the moment, so it could fit in that narrative. There's not many posts here. Some of the engagement looks very likely fake as well. So there's a lot of concerns with this coin. And these are the things you need to watch out for. Otherwise, if I was buying, I do everything from here. And like I said, you can do automatic buying as well. So if you scroll down here, you've got the option for market, which is buying as and when. So literally the live price or limit. So you can set exactly where you want to buy, where you want to sell. Very, very handy once you get more experience with trading. Now, if there's any part of this video that you didn't understand or you want me to expand on, please let me know. As I understand, there's always new people joining the space and some of this is just not going to make any sense whatsoever. So please let me know. Thanks for listening.